He's the bicycle riding plumber Moonlighting as a charity event organiser. But these families have accused Daniel Clark of taking money from the people he's supposed to be helping. Daniel. Daniel, Chris Allen from A Current Affair, mate. Can we have a word? Hey, how would you describe him? Delusional. You know, he's a chronic liar. Daniel, can we ask you some questions? Where did that money go? Daniel, can we ask you some questions, mate, about the uh, allegations that you've kept money from charities? He deliberately this? did this. He's done it in any... He did it with a smile on his face. He's the plumber on a pushy who masquerades as a fundraiser. Trouble is, the only charity Daniel Clark helps appears to be himself. Daniel, are you there? Daniel, are you there, mate? We just want to ask you some questions. I like to get that salary, you know, <laughs> for doing for doing one one phone call. Former soldier Mike Handley says he paid Daniel Clark two and a half thousand dollars to organise a fundraising dinner for Red Six a group trying to lower the suicide rate among the veteran community. But just days before the function, Mike discovered Daniel had done nothing. Well, we'd paid money to him in booking fees to, to, to book all these people who my wife called after we'd been alerted to the fact that no one had been booked. And my wife called all these people and all bar one said they'd never had any contact with him. It felt like the floor just fell out from under us. Rachel is Mike's wife. I just couldn't understand or comprehend how or why someone would want to take advantage of others that are just putting our own money up front and on hold to look after others. Went through every emotion from anger to, to frustration to depression. We just want to ask you some questions about these allegations, mate. Can we have a word? We tried hard to talk to Daniel. We know you're here, Daniel. We might as well have a chat about this. These are serious allegations. Surely you want to answer some questions. What was your reaction when you realised that well, you've been conned or misled. I was a bit gutted, like, yeah, a bit, um, bit down, but then I was just more so, like, I was a fair bit of money. Corey Camps, also an Army veteran, paid $2,400 in an online charity auction organised by Daniel Clark. He won but never received the prize. It must make you angry. Oh, angry, disappointed, yeah. Numb. Mate, you don't want to talk to us? Surely you've got something to say about all this? Corey's prize was a day surfing with Mick Fanning, followed by a tour of the Bolter Brewery for him and two mates. We checked with Mick Fanning, who told us via text message, to be honest, this is the first I've heard of this, and chatting to the boys at the brewery, they didn't agree to the fundraiser. He's just got to be accountable for what his actions were in, in it. What do you think you'd say to him if you ran into him in the street? The smarts of me would say, just go, like, probably ask him where is it. Um, a younger me would probably want to throttle him. We know Daniel is home, he knows we're here, he knows we're from a current affair, but he is ignoring us, which is a pity for all the people who say he owes them money. So how much does he owe you? Uh, it's only a little over five, 5,000, so in the ballpark there, five to five and a half. Rowan Best is operations manager at the Lakelands Golf Club. He says late last year, Clark approached the club wanting to put on a charity golf day to raise money for the family of the late father of three, Casey Townsend, who battled a brain tumour. Me with a young family as well, a young, young son, I want to jump up and help as much as I can, especially when we could fit them in on the day they were looking at. Because the club had to shut the course for a day, Rowan says they offered to do it at cost price. $5,323, but he says Daniel never paid in spite of a successful event. It's a, it's a debt you can't afford. <laughs> yeah, no one wants to miss out on funds that are owed to them. It's not that easy to just write off that amount nowadays. It's believed the event at the golf club raised about $15,000. Now the Townsend family, who were supposed to benefit from this fundraiser, say they received nothing from Daniel Clark until four months later when he gave them $10,000 and apparently told them there was more to come. But so far, the family say they haven't received another cent. Really, Daniel, you don't want to talk to us? You're going to ignore us like this? Mate, what about all the people who say you owe them a lot of money? If we could take a positive out of this, it, it would be that we're going to try and prevent this from happening to someone else. Mike Handley from veteran support group Red Six says he paid Daniel to help organise this fundraiser and Daniel did nothing. The event went ahead, but Mike says they lost money as a result. Well, I got a text message saying when all this happened, 
that he would pay the money back. Now, if you're strongly denying all these allegations, why are you now suddenly admitting to, you know, that you'll pay the money back? Mike also says Daniel charged him $850 for another charity day set up for veterans at the indoor skydiving centre, I Fly. Mike says he didn't realise iFly put the day on for free until he spoke to them later. But he's billed me for admin fees, which iFly alerted me to the fact that they actually did all the admin. He was just the, the guy who walked, walked me in the front the, door. Yeah. So he took advantage of us there. What would be your warning to anyone who's approached by Daniel Clark claiming that he wants to uh, run a charity day or raise some money for something? Yeah, just say thanks, but no thanks. And, uh... Look for someone else. Rowan Best says the Lakelands Golf Club has now put their debt in the hands of a debt collector and contacted police. And even before the event he was supposed to be organising late last year, Daniel was in trouble. In July, he was declared bankrupt with debts of almost $170,000. And it appears he doesn't have a driver's licence because he cycles everywhere, even when he's trying to avoid us. So basically, he's a plumber masquerading as an event organiser. Uh, well, when I first engaged him, even on his Instagram page, he had under there that he was an events coordinator. Um, so I don't know what he's masquerading around. I know he's now taken it off because he's been caught out, and obviously the attention that he's getting due to this, yeah, he's, he's claimed you know, he's, he's a plumber again now. Can we have a chat now? Mate, you can't ignore us forever. Obviously, these people aren't going to go away. They say you've taken money from charities, Daniel. Is that the case? There is one piece of good news to come out of this. Surf champion Mick Fanning has kindly offered to take the winner of the fake prize out for that surf experience.